What I'm going to do uh, is trying to get this piece of wood white and I will probably use a white um, gesso, a heavy gesso for this. With one layer of heavy uh, gesso on this, it looks like this. And you still see the distress and the dilution sprays that I used um, underneath this is still uh, reacting. Can you see? Still have a bit of blue and a bit of green coming through here, also here. I have to say though that I do like the effect. I want to use this photo uh, on this piece of wood. This is my beautiful sister and this photo was taken a very very long time ago. Uh, I printed this with an inkjet printer and that means that the ink can move a bit. So what I did is sprayed it with a hairspray just to give it a thin sealer. It doesn't work all that well but it, it works enough for me to uh, get the first layer of Mod Podge on top of this. So I will um, glue this down with a Mod Podge and tear it a bit. So. Okay, what I don't like so much is that the colors of the print did uh, change a bit because there is a green uh, glow on this right now. I got this gorgeous stencil from Sunny in Happy Mail. And I am going to use this small brick wall stencil by my favorite things. What I'm going to try is to uh, give this a glaze. Um, I've seen people do that with an acrylic, fluid acrylic um, paint. But you uh, or uh, use a, a glaze for that. But I've also learned you can do that with a, a gel medium or a mud patch. So just trying. So I am at that stage now where I want to throw everything in the bin, but 
I'm going to try a bit longer. Working with black and white. Okay, next I'm going to stencil here a bit some letters and I want the word perhaps I better write it down because I need to go backwards. So I did this most of this off camera because I kept cleaning my stencils after each letter stencil after each letter and drying off after each letter. Gosh, this mixed media piece is causing me some sweat. Uh, drying off again. Okay, so I need to do a bit of writing on this as well. I'm a bit scared for that, so um, uh, what I did first is I have these wooden butterflies and they will go on here, I am thinking. Okay, kind of worked, happy with that, and I managed to do that with the uh, Uniball Signo gel pen. Um, now I'm thinking to add a bit of black splatters here, so I put my butterflies out of the way. Okay, I will now glue down those butterflies and I am doing that with a golden gel medium. This is the perfect um, glue for a heavier material. These are okay. I need to write here again, but I'm gonna leave it for a while. Um, looking at this, I'm thinking those letters are too white. 
and I want to tone down them want to tone them down a bit and I'm not sure how to do that maybe with a Faber-Castell artist pit pen hmm Let me first put on a bit of uh, Mod Podge on this because um, just to make sure if I use the Faber-Castell pit pens um, I, can, I can wipe it off uh, as long as the paint, the, the, the marker isn't uh, dry yet and now there is nothing on top so Now the writing bit. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. So here uh, needs to go the word butterfly, and I already did with a pencil. And now this is a very thin um, marker, Micron uh, point one. And now I need to think what I should do to finish it because uh, my feeling says it is not finished yet and I should do something uh, here so let me think about that so I'm not sure what to do else I um, took out some more butterflies more bling but I don't like that very much what I do like is oh what I did also was uh, taking back uh, the stencil and used my white uh, Posca pen to outline the roses that I had um, <coughs> created here uh, before with the modeling paste they got kind of lost so I thought to bring them a bit back but um, this is not where I want to stop so I'm thinking I could do this that could be nice so let's put that on I need to fill my container And this tissue paper with the script on it, I got also in Happy Mail from Anya. Also wanted to do was try to make some drips here, but that I should have done before I wrote down the words so need to be a bit careful maybe I could do a bit more stamping right here I have these by Dina Wakely, these hearts.
got a couple of things out because I still feel I'm not finished and I have these little frames and I kind of like that right here but what to put in it so hmm another butterfly maybe but I'm thinking uh, this is a sticker always I can trim it down a bit for it to fit in the, the frame and I have this tiny heart so I'm going to do that uh, first gluing this down with oh no 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 first So I left this overnight, uh, meanwhile thinking about it, of it was ready or not, and I think it is. I will try and sh show you um, how it looks like, but I am going to try and make some uh, nice photos where the piece, uh, where you can see the whole piece. This is it for my mixed media on wood project and I hope you have enjoyed the video and well see you again next time. Bye bye.